Tell us a little bit about your plans. Um, oh, there's so many plans to do. Um, so basically, I've recently given my pro card back to WBFF, and now I'm back at Pure Elite, where I first started, which um, I'm honoured to be be able to come back here as well. Um, I was saying to some of the guys earlier, it's such a good atmosphere. Like backstage, you can see everyone joking and laughing, and you actually get to go out and watch the other guys as well. Um, and I'm going to be doing fitness over, but I'm also doing muscle this time as well. Oh, a little bit different. Okay, so what's your prep been this, like this time? Has it been as easy as it has been before? What's what's been different about this prep? Um, this prep, I'm not going to lie, this has been my hardest prep and I've had more pressure doing this show than doing a pro show against other pros just because of the decision I've decided to do. Um, and I've been prepped for the first time by uh, Eddie Abu, which I can't thank you enough But because um, I'm so, I hate being told what to do and people prepping me and I've always done my own thing. So it's been scary to let someone else just do it all and tell you what to do and you've got to trust them and do it. So yeah, I've been prepping for this one for 12 weeks and peak week's been horrible. Okay, so obviously you compete with us before and obviously one thing that's come out to me today through all of my interviews is that Pure Elite is very much a family. So tell us, what's your view on that? Um, yeah, that's probably the best word to describe it because everyone here is helping each other out. Like at the athletes meeting the other day, there's a few youngsters who come up to me and said, oh, the reason we're competing is because of you. And like you get all the emotional. Like, and it's not just the diet and the prep that gets you emotional. It's the fact that someone's come up and they're, they're deciding to change their life for the better because you've inspired them to do so. And you know, and we are like a family because everyone gets on. We're all joking and laughing. Everyone's here helping each other. Some guys have got trunks. People have got spare ones helping them. If you if you watch the guys backstage, are helping each other pose. People are oiling each other up. You're all here to achieve your own goals, and and it's nice for everyone to help each other. That's great. And obviously, because you've competed with us before, you've seen very much how the show has changed over the years. So obviously, the show has grown massively in capacity. But I also think the standard has changed. So what's your view on that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just bumped into um, Ryan John Baptiste, and he just said the same thing. He goes, "Some of the guys here are crazy," and I said, "That's what I'm trying to say. Like, just because you're a pro doesn't mean you've got this amazing physique. Because a lot of amateurs out there haven't been given, given a pro card, but their physiques are crazy. I mean, I've recently done a lot of travelling, and around the world, you see these physiques what are just they're phenomenal, but they haven't been given that opportunity to showcase it to the rest of the world. And and shows like Pure Elite are amazing because you get all different guys. There's a lot of guys from around the world here as well today." And their physiques are phenomenal. And just because they're not on these big shining light stages in like Las Vegas or whatever, doesn't mean they're not amazing physiques. It's just been like not been noticed yet. So do you think it's going to be a tough lineup for you today? It is, yeah. I've seen <laughs> I've seen some of the guys. <laughs> I'm panicking. I've seen some of the guys, and and you can't take away the hard work. So um, and that's what I like. I love a challenge, and that's why I've decided to come back to my roots, to be really, to be just be challenged to see how far I can push myself as a as an individual. Great, and you have actually previously judged the show for us, so tell us what it's like to be the other side of that judging table. Uh, it's horrible, because <laughs> I know what the judges say on the table. <laughs> um, no, it is, it's, it's daunting, because obviously you can, I understand the criteria you look for as a judge, and I'm very, I'm very picky when it comes to judging. I, like, I go by criteria, and I know the other judges are as well, which is good, but also on the flip side, it's running through my head as well, so I've got to really concentrate on my tan, my posing, you know, stand in the right position, and I tend to overthink things, but, you know, let's see what happens. It's, it's not my place to judge, it's the judge's place, so. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you.